All right, welcome back. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa as we look at the economy and how to survive. There's young people that are trying to build their capacity so they can actually look for multiple streams of income and, of course, and get some better uh, employment opportunities. Now, my guest, Barista Shea Agwokwetu, is a trained legal practitioner, principal partner of Lushe Agwokwetu & Co. Law firm established in 1996. Managing Director of Norwood Executive Drivers Management Limited, he is an entrepreneur with interest in health, human capital development, and property development and management. He is a certified coach and trainer with the John Maxwell team, an alumnus of the prestigious Higai Leaders International and Daystar Leadership Academy. Also, he is the CEO of Grow Leadership Development Center, a center set up to help people discover, develop, deploy, and maximize their leadership potential. He joins me now to discuss more on coping with this present economic challenges. Many thanks for joining me, Vice Thank you. It's yeah. a pleasure to be here once more. Yes, it is indeed a pleasure. Let me just dive straight into it because uh, I was just discussing with my colleague just before I came on set. He was complaining how he had um, uh, budgeted uh, for an equipment, uh, a piece of equipment, just last week for about a hundred and ten thousand, and just uh, and they had sealed the deal. And just yesterday, uh, the supplier said, "Oh, guy, you're not gonna be like that again." No, no, one sixty-five k, you go pay. So what I'm trying to say is that you go over to the market today, the price is like this. The next day, it has not just you know, increased by a margin, but like a very high premium. How do we cope in the present situation where uh, salaries have not been increased, labor and the F uh, federal government are locked in some uh, negotiation battles, as it were, and um, we still go to the same market, we still go, we still go to, to our workplaces every day, and um, we don't have extra money. So what do you do as a Nigerian? Well, when you were just speaking, what came to my mind was the story I had, was it last week? One of my friends said the daughter called, she's in uni learning, mm. and she called and she was crying. I said, what's the problem? Why are you crying? He said, mommy, every day when I wake up, I just see that the presence of things is just galloping, going up, up. Well, how do you cope? Like, I feel that if there's any time that one needs to stay so focused, it is now. One of the lessons that we'll get from this trouble, this economic hardship that we're going through as a nation is, this is the time we must learn to know what our power it is. This is not the time for favorabilities. You know, these are the times that, these are the, this is the time that you know that this is what is important to me. This is what I need. This is, you know, this is not the time to show off. Yeah. This is not the time to impress anybody. This is the time to just stay focused on achieving your goals. Like the example you gave now. Of course, if the machine, the equipment that he wants to buy is of necessity, yeah. of course he has to go for it. But if it's just something that's, you know, you know, the way people said, uh, let me just show off this and that, you know. But, I, mean, I want to show that it some, belongs to... Somebody will have to give, because, okay, you've budgeted 100,000 mm. naira, and it's about 160, there's a difference of 60,000 naira. And you actually, it is a necessity, it's something that you need for your job to still make income, you know, to even get by. So somehow, the 60K will have to come from somewhere. And you're going to do <laughs> this in. Yes. You pass it over to, if it's going to be for services, you're going to pass it over. Mm. That's that's the okay. way things are now. So you are going to pass it over to your client. That's what I'm saying. That, mm. but if mm. it's not a need, mm. if it's not, uh, if it's just like, for example, you have two phones mm. and you just feel like I need to change this phone, that's not a need. No, not at all. Yeah, uh -huh. except if you know there are some people their phone it's mm. that's their office, that's their workshop. Of course, they need to upgrade. You need to do that because, of course, ulti ultimately, you know, you are going to pass it over to okay. whoever you are rendering services to. Mm. But if it's just, just uh, I want people to know that I've arrived, I want people to know. That is not the period for that. Okay, okay. let's look at staples now, what, what we consume daily. Uh, you know, right now, Gary and beans. I, I usually mention those two because then, if you really don't have money, like, okay, maybe I just go drink Gary now. You know, or with beans, practically with just pepper and onions, uh, you can make beans and um, drink water the rest of the day. But right now, those uh, staples are so, so, so expensive. And they are necessities, and you have to do with them. So how do you begin to survive? Is it that uh, you have to cut... Uh, 
uh, 101 or what exactly do you need to do? Or some people would say that they need to work harder to, to be able to just shore up so they can actually be able to sustain that level of um, consumption. Okay. Uh, the way I will react to that question is this, that you look at it that um, you have said the things are necessary. You know, the hierarchy of needs comes in. Mm. What are the necessary things? You know, that was the day I threw the poser at some group of people. And I was, I told them, I said, how many, how plenty is our needs? And he said, ah, very, very plenty, more <laughs> this. And I said, can we list them? And we now look at everything, basically, feeding oh. the need. Do you know buying a car is not a need? No. Yeah, is that a need? No. You, could, you have alternatives to it. Of course. Things that you don't have alternative to, like that now. So what our advice is, look at it. Where can I cut cost so that we're able to afford what now? Mm. I'm able to afford the things that I actually need. So those things are not a do or die thing. I'm able to. Mm. And of course, like somebody I had, uh, Pastor Femi Mane, telling people that, you know, one of the shows was saying that, who told you that you must eat three times a day? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The reality on ground is that you just have to cut your coat. Not the according clothes. to the, no, not, not the size now, the but the clothes that yes. you have. Mm. So if what you could afford for this period mm. is one meal, two meal, Snacks in between or snacks, even snacks are expensive. No, they even snacks, the size of bread. We snacks have to and eat <laughs> snacks and not eat the main meal, okay? Later in the day, okay? You just have to adjust. Okay, let's 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 uh slide over to the uh employer uh or employers themselves because some people are, co are actually struggling to pay salaries and um workers are lamenting that they need to get something higher to take home because at the end of the day the, re the reality right now is that um, what they're taking home cannot actually take them home as it is now so what should the employer do they are trying to still cut corners or cut costs and um, they still even have to try to pay the salaries regularly and if they are not really meeting the bottom line they might not be able to pay salaries and workers on their own part are asking for better Welfare. That's where the the ongoing negotiation between the NS, NS, uh, C NLC and, and um, the federal government is always very interesting. When I read that uh, workers should be paid over five hundred, one million, <laughs> instead of people ask for eight hundred, I say, okay, is it per hand or monthly? Monthly, monthly. Wage. you know. Well, that's actually not the way to go. Mm. You see, the what I think we should do now is, for example as an entrepreneur. COVID taught us that you don't need to be in the office every day. You know, we need to just be creative, ingenuity, fashion weights, how we could reduce cost. Okay. At the same time, be more direct to the people that we're working with. Mm. This is not the time to live big. Why people working under you are bearing the body when they see that that's what's going to happen, their loyalty, you know, the worst way. Mm. And that's the, I'm sorry, but that's the challenge I have with our system of government now. The government can't be telling us, you know, that you guys, we need to cut this, we need to cut that. You are, you are living bigger than life. It's, it doesn't work. It does not work that way. Mm. So what I would suggest to every entrepreneur at this time is that look for ways of cutting your cost. When you cut cost, are you talking part about of it, reducing part of, part labor force? Person? Well, if that should be the because if if you if you are to reduce the workforce, will you be able to cope? Mm. You know, will you be able to work to your strength? So what I would suggest is that look, if for example now tell the workers the ones that you know you could work from home, let them work from home. Okay. So the challenge those ones will face is that when you look at the power electricity supply mm -hmm. at home, yes. that will be another challenge. True. But as much as possible. And of course, until the way this thing react, the way this thing works is that until your income increases, mm -hmm. it will be very difficult for you to promise your employee that this is what you're pay. Mm -hmm. Because 
if you pay them one or twice, and you're not able to sustain it, it's it, not yeah. something else. Okay. So, we must be very, very creative. We must look for ways, just like you said, ways of you know, increasing mm. our income. And one thing that we must not share away this time mm. as an entrepreneur is to encourage those that are working for you to verge out into multiple sources of income. Okay, so that should be encouraged. Yes, we should not, because it's like, when people, what I've realized with my, you know, being a student of School of Leadership is that, mm -hmm. when people know that you are very sincere, you're authentic, they tend to sympathize with you, mm -hmm. than when you are not straightforward with You're not telling them what is, or the yes. truth. If I have a staff, and I could see that, you could do my, the work that you're employed to do, and you can do some things by the side, and it will not affect the work I'm paying you for. Mm. For crying out loud, there's nothing that stops me from encouraging you. So invariably now, um, people should actually, aside from the employers agreeing to them, you know, people should on their own too look for other sources of, of income course. to just them of argument. Course. Okay. Of course. Okay. Well, so what would you really suggest? Because we've had this um, discussion before on the show, as in uh, alternative um, businesses people could do. Some people, they'll, they'll tell you that they're not really business savvy, except uh, they look for maybe another job that like that is like the one they are doing. But if it comes to maybe doing business for themselves or do, providing services, they are not, they're really not um, uh, into that per se. What would you really advise? Well, one of the things uh, my wife and I, also we, by the nature of who we are mm. as pastors. The teenagers on the house, mm. one goal that we have for them now is that you must learn one skill or the other. Okay. You must learn one skill or the other. Or the other, yeah. Very, very important. Because in things like this, in periods like this, apart from what the job you are doing, the skill that you have learned mm. could come to very, play. very beneficial to you. Okay. For imagine, you know, imagine if kebab, you know, kebab here. Mm. That will not affect what you are doing regularly. You know, if it's own service you're going to do for people, you don't want, or you even have a shop, mm. if you can afford it, or somebody, you know, when they know you are good at what you do, or if it's uh, fixing of hair. Yeah. You know, there's so many things you talk about, so many things you could do. There's so many things you could do, mm. learn and do online. Mm. For people that are saying that they are not really business savvy, mm. this is not the time to say you are, uh, well, maybe all my own life I've not really worked under uh, any employment okay. for a long time. The best I think I did was about for three months and then about time. Mm. I got fired and I refired myself and, okay. you know, started working on it and whatever. So what I would advise is that we should be open-minded. Okay. Every one of us, you need to discover the inner you. Mm. What are things you could do naturally? Okay. You need to learn and upgrade on mm. it so that we're able to have. Mm. The way out, like most of my mentors have always advised, the way out of it is that, look, you need to develop multiple screen of it. Okay. Okay, I just want us to just say something, uh, just uh, tackle one thing in 30 seconds before it goes, our time is uh, actually up. Um, right now, because of the economic challenges, because of um, the difficulties people who are going through, or even in businesses, people have resorted to all sorts of loans to just um, survive. And uh, most of these loans are actually given at a very exorbitant cost as per interest rate. And uh, sometimes uh, people just want to take those loans uh, to just get by, you know, without even having like a sure, um, you know, mindset on, on how they're going to, to, pay. to pay. So what would you advise very quickly as we round off? That's, that's the way down. That's mm. not the way up. Okay. You know, because when you, when you are going down, Mm. and keep on digging down mm. in form of taking loan yeah. and keep on going down. That's not the way out. What one is supposed to do now is any loan that you take that yeah. you know you must be the, you must be disciplined enough okay. to pay for it. Mm. I know it's very difficult the kind of climate that we are. Yes. But one must be disciplined enough. Mm. If you can afford not to take it, Please avoid it. Okay. Very, very important. Mm. Make use of what you have. 
mm. why you believe God for other things to come in. Okay. In well, thank you so much, um, Barrister um, Shaye. I hope to uh, wish we had more time, but um, time is usually not your friend when um, you have having a wonderful time. We do appreciate um, the useful insights thank that you, you have provided on the show this morning. Thank you. All right, you've heard it from our guests that you just have to find a way to look for multiple streams of income. That job that you actually depend on 100% is not the best or sure way to survive in any economy, be it a struggling inflationary or whatever, but you just have to find ways to get money from other sources. I'll leave you with that for today. My name is Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for being a part of the show. Bye for now.